Ladies and gentlemen, so the migrant caravan is here. And what I tell you, they're in Texas. I knew this was going to happen. So Eagle Pass, Texas, the large migrant caravan has arrived at Piedras Negras right across from the Eagle Pass. We were beginning to get more information on the people who arrived at Piedras Negras, Coahuila, Mexico, Monday. We're told of them arrived on about 55 buses that um, I seen it on uh, Paloma for Trump's um, video that was nice they are reportedly a part of the caravan with 1500 to 2000 people it's difficult to get an exact number as we're told by the acting chief of border patrol the border has been reinforced there were all kinds of exercises this weekend bridges were closed helicopters were up and a lot of boats were out on the rivers so we didn't see any scenes like what happened out in california border patrol agents and cbp officers are training to make sure their skills are capable our technology is ready for whatever eventually we have to deal with along the border now all of those people, of course, will be waiting in line, so they're they're expecting for a good result. You know what I mean? Not not a violent how it was in California when you do try to rush through Cal, um, you know, San Ysidro. Uh, this it's interesting because I mean, there's two thousand they say estimated, right? But there could be more. But either way, I have another video right now where it shows the riot of I mean riot geared police in in Coahuila, Mexico. So check it out. Got you. Set up. This is the shelter beyond this fence where the 2,000 plus migrants that began a trek from Honduras uh, on January 15th have ended up. We are on the border with Texas, just a couple of miles up to the Rio Grande River across from that Eagle Pass, Texas. But this police force, the uh, show of force that you're seeing behind me, is a bit of a containment law enforcement telling us, trying to keep the migrants who may realize now that they've gotten to their final destination and they're being kept inside for security purposes. Law enforcement says their own, along with the communities, and the lawyer, uh, the, the mayor here says it's to also keep them from going freely across the Rio Grande a lot of wall or fencing along that area and they're concerned about that another factor bill that plays into what we're seeing in terms of security is that the governor of this mexican state while we love uh, his name is miguel riquelme he told me in an interview last night in spanish that his intention is to go through the 2,000 migrants that you see inside this fence on the other side here is to see those that did not register for the year-long temporary asylum but have come here legally into Mexico will be uh, taken into custody and uh, deported possibly as soon as today he said immediately listen to this soundbite please with the federal government we are seeing if tomorrow the immigration institute can come and work through all the papers and those that, that don't have the right to be here to return immediately then to their place of origin. So the folks you're seeing here really just waking up in the last hour, getting fed because the community giving them shelter, food, and necessities like health care, but many of them learning that they could be possibly on the short list for deportation. The police force out here keeping security. Tensions are rising a little bit here, Bill. Griff, watch it for us. Thanks. Mexican side of the border. Griff Jenkins. Elementos de la Guardia Nacional llegaron esta mañana a Rosarito para instalarse en la comandancia de la Policía Municipal, donde al parecer quedarán albergados. La alcaldesa de Rosarito, Mirna Rincón, confirmó que en este municipio estarán operando 90 efectivos del Ejército y la Marina Armada, y que también se unirán miembros de la Policía Federal. En este momento se realiza una reunión de coordinación con representantes de las diversas fuerzas de seguridad, que se estima termine hacia las 19 horas, y será hasta entonces cuando se ofrezcan detalles. Para Frontera.info, con información e imágenes de Carmen Gutiérrez.